Sometimes we'd like to add an Excel spreadsheet into our 2019 Word document. If we go to where it says Insert at the top, and it says Table, we'll hit the drop down in the table, and we'll choose an Excel spreadsheet. And it's going to create a default sized spreadsheet for us, and it's going to have all of the different features that we would use in Excel, such as formulas, we see the columns, we see uh, the rows, all different things, including sheets. So for instance, if I typed in one, two, three in sheet one, and in sheet two, I can type in four, five, six, for instance. So we definitely see that there's more than one sheet here. We can also drag this out and watch what happens. We now see an H column, so we can just keep going as far as we need to go. And if we don't want to see it that far out, we can also go back in as well. We can also do things like change the cells into be different colors. So we can click on green there. We can change orange there, whatever it is that we'd like. And we have a lot of different options. And we see when we insert the Excel spreadsheet, we also can change the accounting number format. We can change percentage. So for instance, if I put in 45 here, and then I click on the dollars, we can make it $45. Or if I change it to 50 on this one, I can click on percent. And if I click on these little zeros here, we can push it out with the decimal points. I can also open up an Excel spreadsheet and just select certain areas and copy and paste that in as well. But it won't give me all of the same features that inserting an Excel spreadsheet does, such as the columns and the rows and all of the functionality. When you're all done customizing your Excel spreadsheet the way that you want, just click outside of the spreadsheet and we see it turns into what looks like a table. And when it's in table format, we no longer have all of that functionality that we saw before. So all we have to do is select the table, right click, choose worksheet object, and click edit. And now we get it back to where it was, so we can go in and make changes. And once again, when we're done, we can click away, and it turns it back into a table. So that's how we insert an Excel spreadsheet and make some changes in Word 2019.